We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all are created equal and endowed by their creator, with certain inalienable rights, among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We need a nation to join our demand. We need a nation where we understand that we are a nation. Come together, heed the call. This love of immigration brings hate. Separation Can we find a way To come together Right now Both sides of the conversation Keeps the freedoms of our nation Any points of view Why don't we think of this? I'm here to tell you When you think border, think water Why would I say that? Ideas? Yeah Isn't it like the real... Grand Rivers, but like kind of separates us from Mexico too. Absolutely, the Rio Grande is 1,200 of our 2,000 mile border. Most of our border is a river, and along that 800 mile land border, we constantly, if you were to walk along that border, you'd constantly be crossing and paralleling rivers and streams, and an occasional lake. This is the San Pedro River in Mexico, crosses the border in the Arizona. Two guys with bundles of marijuana in their back that had hopped over the wall. One of the, uh, some of the, one of the neighbors saw them, called the authorities. There was pursuit. The guys hopped back over the wall. And while that was going on, rocks were thrown at the agents. At that point in time, the Border Patrol's policy was they could respond with lethal force to rocks being thrown at them. So in a very brief statement issued the next day, they said one of their agents, quote, discharged his service weapon and one of the suspects appeared to have been struck. So that's the board report that came out in, in February of 2013 showed that Jose Antonio had been shot uh, once in the head and nine times in the back. And it's been painted over, but since you know, it used to be right on the corner here, that was impacted seven times by bullets. Here was hit another time, and where the cross is at around the corner, that was hit three times. So this, the shots would have been fired initially, like in that, that direction over there. So you can decide for yourself. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Take you to the dance, son. 
in a yeah, hairstyle and a yeah. yeah So you dance to the rhythm, bounce to the rhythm Shake to the rhythm and you roll to the rhythm Sweat to the rhythm, get wet to the rhythm Make love to the rhythm, clean up to the rhythm When you move in, you come alive And when you groove in, in rhythm we survive So don't panic, don't panic No drum machines, this is all organic Just Sly and Robbie on the drums and the bass <laughs> but the point there, they, those who are suffering and dying are our brothers and sisters, are they not? As a human being, as a Christian, are they not our brothers and sisters? Or as a bumper sticker says, if they are not our brothers and sisters, then God is not your father. So I think that the uh, situation on the border uh, is very unfortunate and I think uh, our humanitarian crisis um, is, is really something we have to address. Um, allowing people to die just because they're trying to cross the border and uh, find a better life for themselves is not something that a wealthy country like the United States should allow to happen. Uh, obviously, we have uh, great problems uh, with our immigration laws. Uh, we certainly need uh, immigration reform. Children who were brought to this country uh, from other countries illegally, uh, in my opinion, should be granted citizenship. This is the only country they know. This is their home. Uh, they went to our schools, uh, their parents paid taxes, it supported those schools, uh, and I hope one day uh, we can have the humanity in our hearts uh, to do so. Uh, obviously, uh, immigrants are a big part of uh, the U.S. society. They contribute with their skills and with their money to uh, the economy of all our communities. Uh, and I think we have to figure out a way, a pathway for citizenship for them. Well, I think it needs to be changed for everyone, but particularly in the context of Mexico. Um, most people have no clue what American immigration policy is in the first place. And its policy is dependent upon not region, but number of people who are immigrating. And I think that in itself possibly needs to change a different quota system. There's a part of me that sometimes wants to say just abolish borders, right? I, I understand that's not very practical. Um, it, maybe it is, but you know, it doesn't. It, most people aren't on that on that train. So if we sort of take a more moderate position, it's it's I think a question of um, how do we legalize people who are already here, mm -hmm. right? Again, keeping in mind, I understand that most people here um, have been here. They 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 function as citizens. They contribute to the economy. They do all this um, kind of stuff. But it's a, a question of how do we work within a system that is broken, that is messed up, that doesn't work, how do we sort of say, okay, how do we create um, new citizens from this? Uh, a lot of people would say, you know, that in itself isn't practical and so on, but I just think of all the money that could be saved if we didn't have all the security and drones and fences and billions and billions with the B 
spent on the border as opposed to, oh, let's you know rethink some of these policies again to um, have more of this idea of a of a flow. And again, this isn't this isn't an answer I personally condone, but I mean, given sort of practicality and so on, I think that's a way to consider. Um, the policy is, again, how do we legalize, if you will, people who are here illegally. I think it has to do with power out, like out by the border, it's all about keeping that that power over people, and so that involves dehumanizing them, so re revoking their basic human rights and needs is just keeping them down. Migrant deaths are a very controversial subject, I feel personally, and the way I view it as migrants are trying to get into America for something. There is a reason why people are so willing to risk their lives to make it over the border. And because of that, there should be a reason why, there should be a reason why we're, we should allow them to. Why is it so difficult for migrants to get to the, to the United States? Um, you know, it's, it's very difficult. There's a lot of people who are against people crossing the border and a lot of people who feel as though they should be given an opportunity. And I feel as though people should be given that opportunity because America is supposed to be the land of opportunities. And how can we live up to that title if we don't give someone an opportunity as a better life? Well, I think <clears throat> the only people who should cross are those who are fit. And I say that more for concern for their health and well-being. Um, I think the reasons for not crossing are how tenuous it is. It's, it's a difficult, difficult journey. It doesn't matter how you do it. Even if you're just walking across and you have to turn to some kind of subterfuge, you have to trick people. That's stressful and, again, very, very difficult. Um, I think people cross, and I don't know if this is a should, but I think people cross because they're trying to make life better for someone. And that's the thing about policy that I think really needs to change. We should make it easier for people to work here and be, in a sense then, documented. And if that policy changed, they don't have to become Americans to work here. Um, it's like I worked in Europe for several years and I didn't have to change my nationality. I don't think people have to do that. So the reasons for crossing primarily are economic. Uh, 